Well, if I could say a perfect day in January, I think today might have been it. Seriously, it was, it was that nice. nice. It was. You may reconsider, though, with what's still ahead of us. So, oh. Uh, what? Yeah, good, news. <laughs> good news? I am Are you making a prediction? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. I think you're going to like it. I take a look at what we've got for tonight. We're tracking clear skies, cold weather for tonight, as we're already starting to get a little cool out there this evening. Mostly sunny, another nice day tomorrow, a little warmer than today. And then much warmer as we head into the second half of the week. And some of that may even carry over into part of the weekend as well. Sunny sky right now in Topeka, where currently we are 38 degrees. West winds at 10 miles per hour, 41 the high today after a morning low of 32. So under those clouds, we were able to start out in the low 30s. But as we cleared out, made that jump up to about 41. Uh, low 40s over much of the area. And it's actually still 40 degrees at Emporia and Junction City. 34 at Marysville and Hiawatha. Some of the northern counties still melting away a little bit more of that snow. But as that continues to melt back, we'll see temperatures jumping over the next few days. Now, because of the recent snow melt over parts of the Flint Hills and Western counties, it's possible under this clear sky tonight to get some patchy fog to develop. The winds are light out of the west and should lighten even more after the sun sets this evening. Satellite showing that cloud cover eroding northeastward, leaving us in the clear. And this is a pattern that is really shifting on us. We've had kind of a, a cool and cloudy pattern. But we're tracking this building in area of warmer air over the western U.S. It's not fully in place yet, but it's getting there. And as this whole system kind of builds in over the next few days, we'll see that kind of expand eastward into the plains. This is a look at KSNT Future Track temperatures by tomorrow afternoon. Low 40s north to near 50 south and lots of upper 40s right through the central section of the area. Cool down at night and then warm right back up into the upper 40s and low to mid 50s. By Thursday as we step up a little bit warmer, but the warmest day still looks to be Friday, where many of us will be at or above 60 degrees. Another look at KSNT Future Track. This is cloud cover clearing through the night for all areas, other than some patches of fog. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, maybe a thin cloud or two will pass through, but even more sunshine as we head into Thursday. Friday and more than likely into the upcoming weekend as well. Tonight we'll call it a chilly night, but keep in mind there could be some patches of fog over the western counties as we drop back into the low 20s, maybe some teens around Manhattan and Fort Riley uh, up north toward Marysville as well tomorrow morning. But as we head through the next several days, your KSNT Storm Track seven day forecast. Look at this 49 Wednesday, 52 Thursday, 64 degrees on Friday, 60 on Saturday. And then a storm system moving into the early part of next week should bring us rain starting up late Monday into Monday night. And the backside of that system could be rain or snow. There's a lot of question marks to the path that Monday, Tuesday storm system takes. As of right now, it looks to be mainly a rain event, but could end with some wintry weather on the backside of that. But before that, we've got some 60s and also some Canada geese out around Gridley from Robin Crane. All right, so I promised at the beginning that you're going to like the next few days ahead. You <laughs> did. 41 and sunny today. How's that? 64 and sunny by Friday. Unbelievable. Seriously, uh, that's a lot better than what they're dealing with on the East Coast. That's oh, right. for sure. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll take what we're getting. Yeah. We will.